Do you want to buy coins? Where they at though? Check out FeverCoinsFC.com for cheap and reliable service and use the code TMAC, TMAK, TMAC for 5% off. Hey guys, TMAC signing in and today I'm going to be bringing you a hybrid squad build and now this squad is worth around 100k so if you have that amount of coins definitely try it out and if you need coins check out fifacoinsfc.com and you can get yourself some cheap coins when you use the discount code TMAC you probably saw it at the start of the intro nevertheless this is a 41212 squad and yeah I've been using it and I've been having quite a lot of fun with it it's a Pacey squad, it's OP and it's just sweaty. You see what I mean in a moment, but before I get to that, let's go through the players. Now, in the goalkeeper position, we have no other than Joe Hart. When I bought him, it was around about 8.2k coins. He's probably gone down now. He's a good keeper, does what you need to do. He's got good reflexes and good diving, and that's why I have this guy as the goalkeeper. Next, we have the right back, and that is Kyle Walker. He's there mainly because of that 91 pace and 80 physical. He's a great defender and a great right back to use in this game and everyone at some point has tried him and you know guys he's a good player. Moving on to my first centre back we have Nadeem Onua. Now this guy's a beast since the start of this game he's been a beast. He's got 83 pace and 75 defending and that combination just allows him to be a tank. He's also 6 foot 2 so he's really strong as well. Bought him for 3.5k coins but it's probably decreased in price now. Moving on, we have Mangala. This dude is just a beast. 76 pace, 79 defending, and 85 physical. I really love using this guy in games. He is my strong defender. He is stronger than a newer, and he performs better. Really like using him, and he's a defender I can rely on. Moving on, we have Felipe Luis. Cost me 14.5k coins. And yeah, he's a good player. He's not the best in the team, but he's definitely good. Mainly got him for chemistry reasons. He has that 82 pace, 81 defending, and 77 physical. His stats are all round. Well, he's got rounded up stats apart from his pace. I mean, apart from his shooting, which is quite low. And besides that, he's a decent player. Moving on, we have our first CDM. Well, our only CDM. I don't know what I'm saying. And that's Tarasov. This dude is a beast, he's got 82 physical, 76 defending and 72 pace, I love using him and he's another player I can rely on. Next we have Beastrov, this dude is the pacey Russian, 90 pace, he knows how to get down the wings and that's why I've got him in this squad. On the left mid position we have Mykon, the pacey Brazilian or 93 pace, love using this guy, it never disappoints me. Next we have Musa at Cam, I've put him at Cam mainly because I've got two players up front which I think are just a bit better than this guy, nevertheless he's got that 93 pace. 8-1 dribbling and that's why I have him in this team. My first striker, I've got him with the right forward card on but he plays as a striker for me, it's Tosic. If you didn't see the video I previously made on him, you won't know that he's a freaking beast. In that video I covered how he was a beast, I used him and he scored he scored so many goals in one game and yeah he's just an absolute tank of a player hopefully he can score within this game with Dumbia next to him the pacey ivory coast striker with 93 pace 82 shot 82 shooting and 82 dribbling really love using this guy and yeah he's a great player that is the whole team guys i know you're probably thinking what's so sweaty about it but if you look at my three up front and my left mid and my right mid, you know it's the ball got above 90 pace. And that's what makes this squad sweaty. And yeah, I've talked a bit about it. Now let's jump into a game. This is the team I'm coming up against all my days. Here's Bill, Benzema, Neymar and Rodriguez. This is going to be tough, but hopefully my team can pull through because I do have some pretty pacey mofos. So yeah, let's do this. Come on. From there, uh, I had to try it. Find him. Be strong. Finish this. Oh! Oh, how did that not go in? He's watching himself. Oh, come on. Finish this yourself. Ah! Oh, damn, what happened? Come on, win that header. Ah! Oh. Right, it's half time guys, that half wasn't the best, wasn't the worst either, he's got no shots on target though, so yeah let's just keep this up and try to get the win. Toshic, 
Okay, that's not tough shit. Oh, I, I could have scored there. What am I doing? Okay. Push. Finesse this. Oh, how is it not 1 0? I don't understand. Oh, oh, Dumbia. Dumbia. Come on. Yes! 1 0. 1 0. We can win this. Come on. Oh, what? Finish it. Oh, that was the best pass ever. Why did I not score? Gosh, it. Go for yourself. Ah, I could have sweated it there to cement the win. But, you know, I want to see what Tashis can do. He touched the... No, not like this. Not like this. Duh, what a stop. It is done, guys. Only one goal in it. I was playing against a team with players much, much better than those in my team. But we pulled off the win. I was playing in the Gold Cup final as well, so I managed to pull off the win there. I'm pretty happy with this team. And I'm happy with the score. I hope you did enjoy this. I know there weren't a lot of goals, which is quite disappointing. I was hoping for more. Possibly could have got more if I sweated, but I didn't. I don't even know if sweated is a term. Nevertheless, we won. These are now the champions of the Gold Cup. Drop a like if you did enjoy this. It would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new to this channel. And for today, this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. And see ya. Be trying out the new inform Toshit. He cost me around about 44k coins, so it wasn't that much. He'll probably go down in price a bit more.